Hey, hey, happy day. Today is International Disturbed People's Day. Please send an encouraging message to a disturbed person. All liberals will be very happy to receive the message. In Canada, you have a fellow, his name is Peter McKay. People think he's going to win the nomination to be the leader of the Conservative Party, and he's hopeful, of course, that from there he becomes the next prime minister of the country. That's possible because he's got a pretty interesting strategy, in my view. He's a liberal, but he's coming at it from this perspective. He's saying, hey guys, all you conservatives, you're stuck with me. You have nowhere else to go, so I can act like a liberal because I want the people on the liberal side to come over and vote for me, and that'll give me the majority that I require, the numbers that I require to become the prime minister. Minister. Interesting strategy. I'm going to go to gay pride parades. I'm going to do all of these things. Really? Parades? Is that the criteria to lead a country? There's so many parades in the country. Every town, every city, every Grey Cup game, football games, hockey games, there are parades. You're going to go to parades? You have time to go to parades? Are you kidding me? But he's doing that because the liberals like it. And that's what they say. You become one of us and we might vote for you. But I'm going to have a different label. I'm going to be called a conservative but I'm a liberal. Hey, and I got the conservative base. They have nowhere else to go. Hey, interesting strategy. People today, the left-wing people, they're nuts. They're totally insane. I mean, the uh, inmates are running the asylum. They have a voice today with fake news and the internet, and these guys, they're really acting it out. South Dakota now, crazies from other states are saying, we're going to go there, and we're going to attack Mount Rushmore. And the governor there says, not so fast, not on my watch. She will react. There'll be gunplay. You guys should probably not go there because this girl doesn't have any backup in her. She's a, mm, a right-wing gal. I like her. I got deep roots in South Dakota, and I enjoy having her as our uh, a leader there. And boom, boom, bad guys. You might as well stay home. The Fort Bragg City Council now is debating changing their name. Their name, the name of their city, because, you know, there was a brag and he was a Confederate general and apparently he owned a bunch of slaves and oh, we just found that out. I don't think so, but now we got to change the name. Then you have Rhode Island, uh, our whole name. I didn't know this. It's Rhode Island and Providence Plantations. Who knew? And they're now saying we got to change the name and drop the word plantations because when you hear the word plantation, you think of slaves. I don't think so. Whatever. And then you got the guy in London. He's a radical left-wing politician. He's the first Muslim mayor of London. And he's saying, you know what? I got to review all the historical monuments in London. You want to change the history. Winston Churchill might as well take his thing down. He's smoking a cigar. That's bad. Get rid of that. You guys are unhinged. You're crazy. You can't do that. You've got to judge a man by the backdrop of his time. And if you really want to get in and erase the history, London, my family went there and knocked off a bunch of Englishmen, Englishmen many years ago because they were Vikings. So give me London. You, you shouldn't be in London. You're a, from some other country. What are y'all doing in Oregon? I know. <laughs> now, governments, left-wing governments, they trip over themselves all of the time as well. So in Montreal recently, they said, hey guys, we've had a couple of complaints so about smoke in the air. So there's no more wood fires allowed in Montreal. Hold it. What about bagels? People eat a lot of bagels in Montreal. In Canada, there's one million bagels every day that are eaten. That's a lot of bagels. That's a lot of dough. Bagel dough. That would be 30 million bagels a month, 360 million a year. And all of a sudden they've uh, tripped over themselves, as I've said, because the bagel places are saying, ah, we use wood fire ovens for our bagels. So what are y'all going to do now? Now they're stumped. They don't know what to do. So I guess we have to have, oh, rigid flexibility because most of the people on council, if not all of them, they like bagels, so now what, hey? Okay, I got a joke for you to end the day, because all this liberal talk is bloody depressing. But this could make some of you women mad. Who knows, who knew, blah, blah, blah. Cone of silence, hey, press a button. Women, you can't hear, this is a, a man button. Only men can hear this. Bzzz. I'll be back in a minute. I'm in my private little world anyway. Here it is, one year. I decided to buy my mother-in-law a cemetery plot for Christmas. I thought that was kind of nice and she was thinking about her, you know, last piece of real estate, her resting place, so I thought that'd be nice and I bought it for her. The next year, I didn't buy her a gift. When she asked me why, I replied, well, you still haven't used the gift that I bought you last year. And then the fight started. Hey, oh, bzzz. now you can all hear me. Y'all come back here tomorrow.
We'll have more for you from the right. See ya.